If you want to be able to share a folder or a file with everybody on the network, it's just as simple as right clicking. As you learned in the previous training video, when you right click on a folder, go to share with, and then over and down, we're bypassing the home group because we haven't covered that yet, unless of course you want to go ahead and skip to the home group training video. But come down here and click on specific people. And then you can see here that I'm the owner of the folder, so I've got permissions to access it. And then other accounts that have been set up on this computer, Dreamforce and Kershaw, have access to it. And their permissions are to read and write any contents within the folder. To be able to share it with everybody, not just including those on this computer who have accounts set up, but everybody who has access to the network, click on the drop down arrow and select everyone. Go ahead and click Add so you can add it down below. And then what type of permission do you want them to have access to within the folder, all the contents? Do you want them just to read it? Or be able to, when you click on the drop down arrow, not only read the contents or files within the folder, but also make any changes to those files. Go ahead and select Read Write. And then when you're done, click Share. Click Done. And that's it. Now it's available on the network. How do I know? Well, as you recall in an earlier training video, to be able to access shared folders on the network, you just have to open up any folder on your computer, like my exercises, because again, over here in the navigation pane, you have the network folder. Click on it. And then over here in the file list view, as you recall, Jason has his laptop computer that when you double click on it, he wanted to share his folder here called Carrie, which is the name of his puppy, his new puppy. Double click on it, and there's the pooch. Double click, and hey, he's a cute puppy. Close out. And that's all you have to do is just be able to say that everyone has access to that folder, and anybody on the network can just do what I did. Again, just go to the network folder double click on that person's computer that's being displayed on the network and just go ahead and drill down. Or you can come over here in the navigation pane, click on the arrow to turn it down to reveal the uh, computers and devices that are available on the network and then just go ahead and turn down Jason's laptop computer and there's the carry folder that has the puppy in it. Click on that, hit updates and shows it over here in the file list view, the pooch photo. So really it's pretty simplistic. However, as I mentioned in an earlier training video, when it comes to accessing shared folders on the network, if you just do a simple share, as we did with the right click, and added everyone to the uh, network, then that folder is not available here when you open up that person's computer. In other words, the carry folder won't be here. Instead, we'd have to go to the users folder, come over here in the file list view, and the username that Jason logs into is laptop, double click, and we're drilling down, so we go from the username or the account on that computer to that user's desktop and on that user's desktop he's got a lot of files and folders but the only one that we have access to is the carry folder again which has the pooch image now how is he able to not only share the folder but be able to show it here in the hierarchical view without having to drill down well it's really simple let me go ahead and close out just go ahead and right click on that shared same folder that you're sharing across the network so right click and as you know you go to share with and then down to specific people it's everyone, right? Okay. The next thing you want to do is right click on the folder and then go down to properties. Click on the sharing tab. And of course, here's another way to get to that same screen. Click on share and, well, there it is, everyone, right? But below that, you have what's called advanced sharing. Click on that. Check the box to share the folder and then click on permissions. And you can set the permissions here. The default's going to be share with everyone and they only have read only access. Click OK click OK and then click close. Just that one extra step for advanced sharing will not only allow this folder to be shared by everyone on the network, but when they go to the network, double click any folder and come over here like we did with Jason's laptop, it will list that folder at the first level. You won't have to drill down to find carry. Double click laptop to the laptop's desktop and there's carry K. Let me show you. I'm going to go ahead and go on the other computer and I'm going to take that folder and right click on it go to properties and then go to the sharing tab and go to advanced sharing and I'm going to go ahead and uncheck share this folder and then click OK and then it's going to warn me saying hey look you have this other computer that's connected to it currently right now which is me okay are you sure you want to cut this and I'll say yes and I'll go ahead and close out but I still have access to the folder I can double click and still see it but what it does is when you change the advanced settings to no longer be shareable when I come down here and I expand Jason's laptop, you can see now that Carrie's no longer listed there, but just the user's folder. So when I click on users, I have to drill down. That's his username. 
when he logs in on the laptop, his laptop, pretty generic, I know, double click, go to the desktop and there's carry. But again, if I want to be able to not only have the folder being shared carry, but have it listed up here along with the uh, users folder so it's at the first level so I don't have to drill down again. All you have to do, let me close out, is right click, go to properties, go to the sharing tab, go to advanced sharing, check the box, set your permissions and click OK. Now I bet you got a question. In other words, when I click on share and I initially share it with everybody and it's for everyone to read and write, but yet in the advanced sharing the permissions are set to everyone but just read only, which one takes precedence? Well, I would say 99.9% .9 of the time it's always going to be the simple sharing. So whatever you have set up here with everyone just to read and write or just read only and click share to complete the wizard, that's going to take precedence over advanced sharing. So if you come in here and click permissions and say, well, give everybody access and click OK, uh -uh, it's not going to work. This one's going to take precedence, OK? I'm going to go back over to Jason's computer here and I'm going to set up the permissions to have full access or the advanced sharing permissions to full access. And then the simple sharing, we'll just go ahead and set it to read only, OK? So what that means is that, again, the simple sharing always takes precedence when it comes to permissions over advanced sharing. So if I said read only here, but in advance said have full control, watch what happens when I try to access, let me double click and open up any folder here, access Jason's computer. Now I set it up so you can actually see the shared folder on the first level so I don't have to drill down through the users folder. But if I double click and open it up and let me go ahead and right click and go down to rename the pooch image. Let's go ahead and let's type in two and hit enter. It says you don't have permissions so there's proof right there that let me go ahead and click cancel. That again if I can go ahead and pound this into you that when you right click on any file or folder and you go to properties to the sharing tab that whatever permissions you set up under simple share will always overwrite whatever permissions you set up under advanced sharing. Okay? Again without me setting this up as advanced sharing to share this folder I uncheck it and click OK. It just means that who's ever accessing my shared folder on my desktop here when they go to the network and they come to Dreamforce that they have to go ahead and drill down because that folder is not going to be available the exercises folder on the first level here, like Independence Day, Music Backup, they have to drill down through the users. These are all the accounts, including the public folders, on my computer, and then go ahead and drill down through training to the desktop, and they can have access to my exercises folder there. One final thought, let me go ahead and close out. If you go ahead and you right click on the folder and you set up your simple share, either going through the share with down to specific people, brings up this window, or like I said, the other way is to right click on the folder, go down to properties, click on the sharing tab and click on the share button, same window. If you go ahead and you remove everyone, but yet you add the guest here and click add, well, I've tried this on my network, but whenever I add guest, it's like adding everyone. So it's not just the guest account on my computer here that has access to this folder that I'm sharing, the exercises folder up at the top, you can see it there, but everyone on the network as well. So I don't have to add everyone, I can just add guest, and everybody on the network will have access to it. Click share, click done, close out. Now why is that? Well, pontificating on the matter, a guest account is the one that's least secure, so hey, if a guest can come in on your computer, somebody you don't trust or know, per se, well, at least those on the network we should be able to trust, right? In any case, just keep that in mind. If you set it up to guest, it's like setting up to everyone. So it's not just local guest on your computer, it's everyone on the network, including that guest account on your computer. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.